All right, here's part two of converting my 2000 Winnebago Adventure 37G to uh, 50 amps from 30 amps. Uh, this is after I've run the new wire in and I'll briefly run through it. So look in here, this is the old setup right here. And if you see, let me uh, see if we get a better picture. This is the old setup, and here's the new setup right below it. And on the old setup, you'll see this red wire nut here. There's another one right below it. When you wire in your new six gauge cable going out to the panel, the old one was wired in the neutral to that wire nut. So you'll have to undo that and take this neutral wire and add it into here. The second one that's on the lower side comes from the power cord and it took the old neutral from the 12 gauge wire AC2 and ran it down. So again, you go down here and you plug it into your power cord neutral. And this is for a um, Todd Engineering uh, transfer switch and as you can see on here according to this diagram that your neutral wires one goes to one side I'm oh, sorry where am I the two go to the panel right here then you also have a neutral coming from each side of the generator and neutral coming from each side of the power cord which is why you plugged them both into here so you have one neutral feed in each side of the DC coil. Your generators already run to the other side. And the same thing for uh, for the bottom coil. So that's what I ended up doing there. I took the old 10 gauge power cord, wired it into AC compressor number two just stuck it through here, taped it up, stuck it there. The old power cable that came back, instead of just abandoning it in place, I'm putting a plug on the end. A little 20 amp plug. This way when I'm here at home, I can run my extension cord, just plug it in here. And inside the camper, I'm gonna make a outlet with this female side or probably just a household outlet. And then when I wanna plug in my window unit or whatever, I can, uh, power it directly from there rather than running everything through the EMS system on the camper. I can just have a basically running an extension cord inside without having to do anything with the camper. Anyway, um, this is the new power cord. It's wired in four cord, or, uh, four strand, six gauge. And on the end, I'll be putting in my uh, 50 amp plug and this 38 uh, 30 amp cord that's here will become a new extension cord for me but I'll be going to this plug here the uh, 50 amp plug on the end of my six gauge cable here anyway this is the uh, transfer switch wiring completed and uh, that's how everything's run this is my out to panel a hot one, neutral, hot two, and ground. Power cord coming in. Hot one, neutral, hot two, and ground. Generator connections didn't change at all. Everything there stays the same. Hopefully that helps anybody who's uh, doing the same conversion. Didn't see anything for the 50 amp wiring. And also, I don't know if you can see down at the bottom, those neutrals. Uh, the second one that comes down here runs down and plugs into DC coil one right there. The other one comes in and you can barely see it, but it plugs in right there to the back side of DC coil two for the uh, power cord. Going out. All right, that's all.